The new season of Siege has finally been revealed and I was lucky enough to be invited by Ubisoft to try out the new season early, so a big shout out to them. Now I've got a lot packed into today's video. I'm going to focus in on the new map and the new operator for Operation Deep Freeze. Now I have a lot of tips of all the different interactions that you can do with this new operator towards the end of the video, so you're going to want to stick around for the whole video to check that out. So let's jump in and get started and take a look at the brand new map coming this season called Lair. It is a three floor expansive underground complex with a lot of verticality to work with. And the outside area is a huge spawn area for you to explore all the different ways to get inside this building. Now the interesting part about inside is that every floor has its own personality and design with the top floor being more offices and planning rooms and server rooms. And then as you head down onto the first floor, Floor, you head into more of the operations side of the facility with infirmaries, armories, and bunk rooms to discover. Now, it is a huge complex, and there's going to be a lot to learn with this map, especially with that verticality with opening up all the floors. There's so many options and angles that I'm sure you'll be able to find on this map. And then heading down onto that bottom basement level, it's more of the research side of things with lab rooms and warehousing where all the storage is. And I do think once you get your hands on this map you will see the sheer scale of the size of this map especially with the outside just being so expansive and so many ways to enter into the building in fact you can actually get into the building every floor without having to repel up the building that is the amount of different passageways and walkways that you will discover as you spawn in and moving on from the map we're going to take a look at the brand new operator coming this season by the name of Tubero. he is a defensive operator and his ability is he has a Zoto canister which is a throwable device that sticks to surfaces and releases a freezing gas that deactivates devices and slows down enemies. And with that, like I said at the start of the video, I'll be showing all of the different interactions that, that this gadget has a little later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. And if you have enjoyed this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what you think of this so far and are you excited to play the new season. So we're going to jump in and take a look at his loadout. He has the MPX as one of his primaries and the second weapon is the AR-15.50, which is a DMR on defense. So we have another DMR coming to the defensive side of things he does also have a c4 and proxies in a pocket so now we're going to take a look at some gameplay from the new season that i got a chance to get my hands on and then we will jump in and take a look at some of his interactions one more out there nice 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 freezing metal One's on the yellow ping from one. Two. One right side, one left side door. You froze lion. Behind the desk crouch. Okay, two on two right side on ping, and then one left side. Okay, all three right side wall now. Yep. Let's go. Nice, Let's go. Dude. Beautiful. He is him! There's, there's, there's three over here. I'm gonna scan this claymore. On that claymore ping, there's three. One armory door. Oh, sends is lit. There's two armory side. Oh no, I almost got one. One's in the bathroom over there. And one's around the corner. I think the other three are the other side angle. 
Yep. What, one more is lit. One more is lit. He was on that door through that rotate that you're looking Drone at. Inside storage. No eyes anymore. Oops. Sorry. You're good. I can give you a call if he walks up to the door. One friendly operator remaining. Yeah, one right side door. Ping five. He, he can only come from the right side. Yep, right side in the hallway now. I'm ping five. Crouched. One back to the right side. And then the other one's on the door. Oh. Other one's on uh, ping five door here. In the armory storage. I'll let, he's, I'll let you know if he crosses. This this guy might be lit, actually. He might be able to maestro him. Open the door. Outside the door. Coming in. In. In on ping 3. Live ping. Oh, nice. Victorious. Hostiles eliminated. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my tongue this time. Yeah. Let's leave it at that. So you might have seen from that last clip there, Maestro now has three evil eyes to work with. So I think you're going to see a lot of Maestro now coming into the new season. He's going to be giving so much intel to your teammates. And of course, you'll have a better chance of getting kills as you saw from that last clip. So that's going to be a very interesting because I have noticed over the past season or so that just Maestro just does not get played enough. So I guess this is their way of trying to get more people and get his pick rate up. Now, of course, the big change that everyone has been talking about and there's been rumors about nades can no longer be cooked as you can see here I'm taking out the nade and I can hold it for as long as I like and it will not detonate so now it's all about getting the timing right it is four seconds if you roll the nade along the floor and then if you actually bounce it off of something whether it's a door frame or a wall it will detonate inside two seconds so it's going to be a lot of learning with regards to the best way to arc the nade maybe even opening up like one layer of the floor above and rolling the nade in inside the floorboards so it's a big change and i know there's going to be people who are not going to be happy about it but again it's just something that we're going to have to adapt to now they have tried to balance this a little bit by adding nades to other operators in the game this including lion iq blackbeard osa and sense now it's going to be interesting to see is this really going to have any effect i think nades are still going to be brought to the table every time if it has the opportunity to get you a kill i don't see much change i think a lot of people are still going to run the nades but who would have thought that we would have nades back on IQ but I guess we have that dream to come true again so we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out now we're going to take a look here at how all these interactions with the new operator plays out the first of which, of course, is he can actually stop any hard breacher from getting the wall open. It lasts a total of 12 seconds. And of course, like I said, it also slows down the enemy as well once they walk into it and a whole frost effect comes over your heads up display. Now you can also Cade a trick with this new operator, making sure to put the Cade outside of the radius of the freeze nade. You'll be able to stop them from getting hatches and walls open. Now the other crazy thing with this is it does leave frozen footprints on the floor whether it's above or below so you can sit below with a c4 wait for those footprints and get an easy kill now you can team this up with pulse as well with the cardiac sensor and it just becomes such a powerful tool moving forward now other interactions is when you throw a freeze grenade on somebody when there is a glass trying to get a kill through the smoke with his thermal scope it will remove that outline of the thermal on the character and you'll be able to get through the smoke safely now of course this also comes with a disadvantage if the defender using tubero throws his grenade against any defending gadgets it will deactivate them or freeze them on the ground now you can see here with goo mines and of course the fenrir device and even some abilities you cannot think of boost your teammates if they're standing inside the frozen radius so this list just goes on and on and on you can stop ram devices drones claymores c4 and projectiles from Ash's launcher, even Tachanka himself as well, will have the fire not de detonate on the floor and it will leave the projectile stuck on the floor inside the ice. Now, another thing is a Capitao's launcher will also just bounce off of the freeze grenade and the same with C4s, they will freeze on impact on the ground. So there is so many interactions with this new operator and we're gonna have to learn a lot, especially with the test 
uh, server dropping and of course when the new season comes out we're going to see a very different siege so again it's all about learning if you want to see a full a dedicated video of every interaction with this new operator let me know down in the comments and i will do my best to bring it to you so i really hope you enjoy this video and a taste of what's to come with this new season there is a lot in store even some that i didn't include in this video including the defender ai playlist and map run for learning maps so a lot of new stuff for onboarding and of course the player protection and commendation system is getting some upgrades you will see a lot more of that and if you'd like a video on all of those changes as well let me know down below now if you've not subscribed to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i upload my next video and as always yeah,